probably we'll go back from the beginning. Um, being teammates at Brixton, but uh, Justin Robinson, who's obviously the the two-time MVP, um, playing for the Lions and stuff. But we grew up together, um, known each other from about the age of eight or nine years old, and obviously stayed in contact um, throughout um, our journeys. Um, we actually spent a year as well in the States together at a prep school. Not a lot of people know that. And um, obviously him going on to Ryder, me going on to University of Washington, and we just stayed in contact um, throughout the professional side of our, our careers as well. So inside, outside of basketball, probably the closest person to me. I wouldn't say um, a piece of music that means a lot. I would just say um, a genre, just hip hop in general. Um, it's usually what I listen to pregame. Um, try and get me obviously in the mood in, in my own little zone or whatever before I go out and perform so uh, there's a playlist um, right now on Apple Music called Agenda uh, which is um, basically hip hop based but also a lot of British artists as well so you know just um, that's probably my pre-game playlist uh, for the moment um, for me there's this one film um called Law Abiding Citizen. Um, I'm very much a, a thriller kind of person, um, suspense. Um, I love those type of films or crime films or whatever it may be. So whether it be documentaries or films, but yeah, Law Abiding Citizen was kind of, I think the beginning of it all. Um, like those kind of mystery thrillers that you kind of kind of work out or try on to work out what's going on in the film before obviously the ending kind of wraps it all up. So yeah, I, I'm a thinker, so. I love those type of films, and I think Law Abiding Citizen was probably the film that started it off for me. I had a great holiday a couple of years ago in the Maldives. Um, obviously, um, getting to that age where it's not holidays for partying, it's more holidays for relaxation. So, <laughs> so <laughs> somewhere where you know you could just lay out, sun, sand, um, waves, or whatever, just listen out, relax, chill. Um, I wish it was um, a home, a home nation sport. It would have the possibility to to counterpart sports like football and rugby and everything else. If it was like a home nation sport, like a sport that everybody knew, grew up playing, part of the curriculum and pathways would be a lot better um, in terms of comparing it to European clubs and being able to play for junior teams all the way up to obviously if you're good enough to play for their first division teams, um, whether it be in Spain and ACB or Jubilee in France and whatever, you'll see guys that will grow up through the system and once they're good enough, will play for, the, for their teams. It feels like we always have to, as a nation, um, ship our players off to different places for them to improve their talents. So, um, yeah, just I'll, one thing I could change would be, obviously, it being a, um, like a favourite, I guess, sport in our nation. So we kind of get the same, reap the same benefits of other sportsmen, um, whether it be football, rugby, or cricket or anything else um, that we are talented as a nation at. Never to worry about anybody else um, with the type of career I've had, with the type of, um, I guess, hype around my name from a young age. Um, used to think sometimes about what other people would think of myself um, and trying to be politically correct and do things the exact right way. But just know that if you kind of, people are gonna talk regardless of whatever you do. So just going out there and handling your business, not worrying about anybody else and um, just stay in the gym and work as much on your craft as you can. Um, I'm not saying that I wasn't obviously a workhorse or wasn't, um, working as hard as I could, but you feel like you are when you're young, you don't realize it until you're older, it's like, this is what it actually takes to make it to this level. And without certain guidance, um, it's very, very tough to, to, to make it to the heights that you want to make it to. Even growing up in school and stuff, I'm not a book person. I'm not a, a I'm not a, I'm more math than English. Um, I've always been, um, but I know this is going to sound very, very childish, but one book that kind of got me into reading more was when I was in high school in the States was a book called um, Angels and Demons. 
um, part of the Da Vinci Code series, but Angels and Demons was like one of the, not the first book, obviously, but one of the first books that I was like, yo, I actually want to finish this and I want to read it and I would read it again and whatever it may be. But then again, also having that conversation earlier about um, being that type of trying to work things out, it kind of fell into that bucket um, of there's so much different things going on um, and you're trying to work out what's going on before it, before obviously it's revealed within the book. So I think that kind of was part of the reason I guess I enjoyed it so much.